a little update on the red tail catfish. Uh, I don't see any change in its uh, well-being after I gave it a second shot, second injection of the B1 vitamin from a different source from a pharmacy. So that's assuredly B1 versus the first injection which I gave with the B1 that I bought from Amazon and I doubted it because I didn't see a re an expected reaction, positive reaction. So I'm thinking that uh, tentatively I have to conclude that uh, they both were B1 and I shouldn't have doubted. I should not have doubted the first source of the B1 vitamin. The fish still kind of sluggish, lethargic. It swims funny as if it doesn't have a swimming bladder. Um, it kind of keeps its tummy on the on the bottom, curves its tail upward, and swings it left and right to sort of swim, swim slash crawl on the bottom. It sits in one spot. The fins are clamped. It doesn't feed, etc. So whatever it's suffering from, it's still ongoing. Maybe it has to do with with the B1 and the, and with the B1 deficiency rather caused by by the thiamine. But uh, maybe it's suffering from a secondary problem such as an infection or. Uh, parasitic infestation from the stress or, or the weakening of the immune system just turn the light on so everybody is kind of disturbed a little bit the red tail was just before I turned the light on the red tail was just sitting in the main flow right there in the middle motionlessly and uh, with clamped fins I mean obviously the, the fish has no no vitality no vibrance at all normal red tail would even if when it sits in one spot it doesn't clamp up its fins and half the time it will swim around the tank and behave confidently and uh, explore it, explore the tank, swim, lap, sw swim laps. The tone of the skin is, is wrong, I mean it's... The tummy seems to be too flat even though it hasn't eaten for a while, so that must may be it. But like the the right hand side side bulges out more than the left hand side, so there's something going on with internally with the fish. I can only hope and pray that time will help. I can take it to, to a vet, but the vet will have to kill it to conduct a full analysis and uh, I wouldn't want this fish to be killed because I believe it there's a good chance it may it will recover by itself if there's any fish I would take to the vet to be killed and worked up as a lab sample it would probably be a, a fish that I'm pretty sure is moribund and just about to die Yeah, see how he, it moves around? It never, the tummy never leans the bottom. The tail curves up and swings side to side, side to side. You can see the bulge on the right hand side. is bigger than the bulge on the left hand side. It's still, when it lays in one spot, it's still, the body is not straight but the tail is curved slightly to the right
just like it's doing right now. See, the tail is curved to the right, which could be neurological damage, which again could be co it's consistent with the thiaminase caused vitamin B1 deficiency that causes neurological damage and the fish swim funny and take funny positions and uh, another sign of a B1 deficiency is that an early sign a mild sign is as I mentioned before anxiety and uh, general restlessness swimming around a lot a lot more than usual almost non-stop but this is uh, an early sign this fish has been sick for probably a couple of months if not three months well at least it has never gone upside down or swam erratically so like the other red tails the three red tails that I had to let go in the Hurricane Ian. I couldn't take care of them. Yeah, see how it moves? It's... It's as if it swallowed a rock and can't detach its tummy from the, from the bottom. Anyhow, this is our little update. The hybrid is doing much better, swims around, looks good, just doesn't eat yet. So hopefully something will change at some point soon.